My name's David Stead and I'm going to take you on a tour of my studio at Norton Conyers. So, welcome. Uh, this is my studio where I spend most of my days. I work here in oils, acrylics, pastel, watercolour, pretty well every medium and on Wednesdays I teach in this space as well so it's quite a busy environment. My studio is in the stable block of a late medieval manor house and it's said that it was the setting for Charlotte Bronte's Jane Eyre. There's stories in the family of a madwoman in the attic and I have been up into the attic and it's pretty spooky up there. Anyway, studio tour. the house and garden are open on selected weekends throughout the summer and they're well worth a visit. In fact, let me take you and show you the garden now. enough of that it's not a gardener's world you know so information the garden is normally open Mondays and Thursdays and when the house is open and all of the information for that is at www.nortonconyers.org.uk my studio is usually open when the house is open and various other times and all the information for that is on my website which is davidsteadgallery.co.uk and I have a YouTube channel which is David Stead Studio if you just put that in as a search you'll find that. All of the links will be at the end of the video and if the studio is not open you can always visit my gallery which is open normal trading times that's David Stead Gallery in Kirkgate in Ripon that's the little cobbled road that runs down towards the cathedral. Of course alongside the finished work in the studio there's lots of unfinished work as well work in progress. 
on the easel at the moment for instance is this picture which is Bow Creek in Devon. Uh, it's a place that we used to live for many years. It's a place that I very much love so it's a pleasure to be painting it again. It also means visits to Devon quite often. So. <laughs> so there are always sketchbooks to see as well and they're part of the working process. My method of working varies enormously. Sometimes I'll go outside and work on a small sketchbook like this. Other times I'll work on board maybe with acrylic or mixed media. Usually the intention is to come into the studio at some point and probably work in either oil or acrylic on canvas. The Norham Castle picture for instance was made for a German film about Turner in the north of England so we went up to Norham with the film crew and made several drawings, a couple of watercolours. Then I made this much larger mixed media on board uh, in the landscape, which I enjoyed enormously. It was a very windy day. All kinds of things got stuck to the surface and they still are bits of grass and um, flies. And then of course I come back into the studio, bring all the information that I have and make a painting from there. In this case, uh, an oil painting. And that was sold pretty well immediately on the release of the film. In the winter my sculptures get put away to protect them from the worst of the weather. Now we're getting them out for the summer. This is Wandering Angus. It's an Irish mythological figure and it was said that birds flew around his head wherever he went which is rather nice. He appears in a poem by W.B. Yeats and a song by Johnny Flynn. Unfortunately a lot of the wood is, is rotten. You see down here but there's nothing I can do about that and you work with what you've got, don't you? I think he'll last a few years. I'm going to put some oil on him as well. Hope you enjoyed the video and possibly by the time you see this the lockdown will be over and you'll be able to come and see us in which case we'll be in celebratory mood cheers <laughs> <laughs>